if you know me, you know a lot of things about me. I, I pretty much share who I am with you every day. And you know I love animals. You know that. You know I love nature. Uh, you know I love to shoplift. Um, <laughs> uh, you really know most things about me. Uh, but last night I thought of something that I've never told you before. And this is good. Oh, that's a good promo. That's a good one. They'll take that little, oh, on the next Ellen. Ellen reveals something about herself she's never told anyone. <laughs> and they'll add an echo, and it'll be, like, really dramatic and everything. Here it is. I'm a very light sleeper. I'm, it's not a big deal. I know that. <laughs> but it's still something that I haven't talked about before. How many people are light sleepers? Isn't it miserable? It is. Oh, it's so hard. I was up all night last night because there was something rattling inside of the vent above our bed, the air conditioning heating vent. And we had had workmen at the house recently. And I, I was all night. I could hear this rattle. And I was trying to figure out what it was. And I, I kept trying to do that thing where I was like, oh, this is relaxing. You know, like, and it sounded like metal. And then I, I thought, do I have a screw loose? Don't answer that. Um, <laughs> Like, is there a screw in the vent somewhere? And uh, maybe an earring dropped? Uh, and I thought, well, my workers have not been wearing earrings. That I, <laughs> one guy had pumps and a boa, and when he was, uh, I don't judge. But anyway, so um, I didn't know what it was. And um, I, today, I was trying to tell you about it. And I put something together that I think um, this is sort of that. <laughs> That's what it sounded like all night long. Apparently, someone is in my air conditioning ducts with a coffee can with a screw <laughs> doing it. Can you imagine? Try, try to fall asleep right now, all of you. Try to fall asleep. You can't, can you? All night long. I, and I was trying to think, do I get up with a screwdriver and take the vent off? Could I reach my hand in there? Do I get? I was trying to figure out all the ways that I could even. By the way, Portia had never been more asleep in her life. Sound. <laughs> this is going on the whole time. And I'm going, Portia, baby. And I gently pried her eye open. And I, <laughs> This is her. <laughs> this is me. Her. Me. Finally, I fell asleep. And of course, the alarm goes off. I'm probably 15 minutes after I finally went to sleep. And I told Portia about the noise this morning. She's like, why, you, sh you should have woken me. And <laughs> I tried. I tried. I don't know how she sleeps so deeply. If, if a little tiny baby leaf falls on our skylight, I'm like, we're under attack. I just <laughs> putting my shoes on. Actually, I, you know the old question, if a, a tree falls in the forest and no one is around, will it still make a sound? Here's the answer, yes. And it'll wake me up, yes. <laughs> Literally every night, something different wakes me up. Two nights ago, here you go, Chris. Two nights ago, I, uh, someone, someone forgot to turn the TV off. And uh, you could barely, barely hear it, but I could not fall asleep. So I, I get out of bed, and I walk down the hall, and out through the front door, and I get my crowbar, and I bust into my neighbor's house, and turn their TV off, and go back to bed. And the line de decker slept through the entire thing. Mr. and Mr. <laughs> line decker didn't even see me. If any of you are sleeping, uh, feeling sleepy right now, I shall wake you up with this dance right here.